Hello, my lovelies, and welcome to my show, Christina Explores. Follow me around the Houston area as I learn people's inspiring stories, all while experiencing the eats, entertainment, and everything in between. Let's go. Close your eyes. Think about eating your favorite cuisine. Did you make it yourself? Who are you with? Food has the unique ability of bringing us closer together. Today is all about food and we will get the scoop on Cooking with a Twist, a place where you can go to take a cooking class and have the best time. But first, like this video if you love to eat. Cooking with a Twist, located in Houston, is for children all the way through adults who want to learn how to make tasty meals, including homemade hearty pasta, as well as decadent red velvet waffles. Cooking with a Twist is perfect for events such as birthday parties, date nights, corporate events, or any other occasion where you just want to have fun and eat delicious food. Are you ready to meet the owner, Chef Didi? Here she is. Chef Didi, thank you so much for having me here at your space at Cooking with a Twist. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. How's your day so far? It's been very busy so far, and mm -hmm. it's only what time? I know. It's, <laughs> it's only noon, and okay. we have the full day left. I sure do. <laughs> I always love to ask a little fun question before we dive into the deeper thing. Right. So my question for you is, if you could only listen to one type of music for the rest of your life, would you choose to listen to 80s music or music from the 2010s? It would definitely be 80s music. Yes! It had, I mean, that's the music mm -hmm. that I grew up on, yeah. you know, and mm -hmm. even now when I hear it mm -hmm. on the radio, yeah. like I'm jamming with it. Yeah. and I know every single lyric. I mean, I can't mm -hmm. remember what happened yesterday, <laughs> but when, you know, that song comes on, it brings up the mm -hmm. memories from your, you know, your uh, childhood yeah. and all that good stuff. You're oh, talking really? about Michael Jackson and Whitney yes. Houston and, oh my goodness. you know, the Jerry Curl mm -hmm. and the, the parachute pants and the Michael Jackson. I mean. All of that. I would definitely choose yes. 80s music, hands down. Okay, so good. we're matching on that. Yeah. I wanted to hear your journey and just find out how you arrived at where you are today. Okay. I moved to Houston in 2001. I am okay. from Montgomery, Alabama. Okay. Um, I grew up in Montgomery. I'm a military brat. Oh, you are? So yes, okay. I am. I was actually born in Germany. Really? Uh, lived some um, years in Fort Meade, Maryland. Uh, I still have family there. Okay. And then, of course, grew up elementary, junior high, high school in Montgomery, Alabama. Okay. And I have a huge family. Oh, and that's all of my aunts mm -hmm. cook, bake, cook, bake. That's mm -hmm. how I um, developed the skill that I have. I'm not a culinary school graduate, although I've been blessed to be around a lot of renowned chefs all over mm -hmm. the world. And I'm still learning today uh, because I try to learn things to incorporate here at Cooking with a Twist so I can teach others. Um, and not anything exotic. We don't do anything exotic here. We do mm -hmm. all approachable meals here at Cooking with a Twist. I want people to look at the menu and right. recognize what they, they're, they're going to cook <laughs> and then be able to go home and, and make and it themselves. It. Exactly. exactly. So um, my mother was a great cook. I always tell people when you know, you think of little girls, uh, six, seven, eight, mm -hmm. you think of them playing Barbie dolls. I was in the kitchen on a step stool with Aww. my mom. Uh, and she never turned me away. She never said, get out of the kitchen mm -hmm. or no, not today. Mm -hmm. Like she was always there and available and open to yeah. teach me. Wow. And uh, I still use some of her recipes today. And I, you know, of course, put my own twist to it. Mm -hmm. So here we are, uh, K-Star Catering in Montgomery, Alabama, mm -hmm. moved to Houston. I uh, start catering. Mm -hmm. um, I still cater today, even okay. though I still have uh, yes, cookie with a twist. And uh, also, I have my red velvet waffle batter brand as well. That so. we're really excited to see in stores future. and in your future, right? And in <laughs> prayerfully stores and also mm -hmm. hotels. I okay. mean, that's the uh, that's the goal. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard to juggle three things at one time, so the focus. Mm -hmm. Um, is not really on the batter now because we mm. sell so much of it here. Okay, right. um, it was, you know, 2014 Before. when we start winning all of these awards for the batter. Anything we yeah. put the batter in, it 
it won. We've had a couple stores who have actually invited us mm -hmm. in, but once we do that, mm -hmm. then you know we'll, we'll we'll be off and running. But mm -hmm. it's still available mm -hmm. here. When I go to different places, I always take it just in case someone wants to. Yeah, you know, you got you got to be armed and ready, right? Yeah, armed and ready. <laughs> that that's what I've learned yes. in this business. Mm -hmm. So yes, you've had another career. So how did I you did. even decide to venture over to the culinary side? That is so. You know, I, I still ask myself that question Yeah, because I worked for Corporate America for 10 years wow. when I moved to Houston. Mm -hmm. I was recently divorced mm -hmm. and I was here a single mother with my two children. You know, I have bills to pay. Yeah, yeah. I don't know anybody. I can't say I'm a caterer and expect yeah. them to trust that they like my food. Right. I started working for Comcast Time Warner mm. and I was in their marketing department for okay. 10 years. That's a long time. <laughs> During that time, yes. I was, you know, started to build my clientele. Mm -hmm. So I was juggling catering, juggling my corporate job. Mm -hmm. And when God granted me the go ahead mm -hmm. to put them in my rear view mirror and never turn back, Ooh. which was in 2012, okay. I, I never turned back. I started wow. doing catering full time. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's scary. Yes. Now, how do you stay motivated? I know you're passionate about what you do, but what keeps you waking up every morning? Just, just my passion for what I do. Mm -hmm. And then I know I do not want to return to work for anyone else. Mm -hmm. Once you get a, a taste of entrepreneurship yeah. and um, working for yourself, uh, making your own rules, mm -hmm. um, seeing the, the benefits of others when yeah. they come and support your business, all of the great reviews, um, you know, even with catering, um, when I, you know, cook and, and get all this positive feedback, mm -hmm. that's what keeps me yeah. going. That is the highlight of my my career. Mm -hmm. um, it's the highlight of my life because mm -hmm. I'm doing what I love. Yeah. It's not all peachy. I don't mm -hmm. want, I don't want to paint a picture of entrepreneurship especially when you're climbing the ladder to get yeah. to that 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 mountaintop experience to mm -hmm. where you're really enjoying the fruits of your labor right. you know even though I enjoy all that there's still some mm -hmm. some challenges that you have to overcome mm -hmm. but once you know um, you know that you know for a fact that God is in control of everything that he has blessed you with mm -hmm. I really I don't worry about it yeah it's, it just tends to work itself mm -hmm. out no, so. that's so true. Yeah. Everything that you just said, it's just so inspiring. I'm like tearing up right now. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot but, be in this, this business yeah. without having faith. Mm -hmm. You cannot do it mm -hmm. because you never know what tomorrow's yeah. gonna bring. Yeah. You just do not know. Mm -hmm. We suffered Hurricane Harvey mm -hmm. and a lot of businesses suffered and a yeah. lot of businesses did not recover. We're still here. Mm -hmm. For a long time, we did not get business during that time. I mean, we're right. flooded. We're yeah. re rebuilding. Who's wanting to take a cooking class? Right. Who's throwing an event <laughs> that needs a caterer? You know, that kind of stuff. Yeah. So, you know, we were he we're still here thanks to my great friend, Chef Carla Hall, who came out and, you know, did a couple of classes, built the momentum back, mm -hmm. you know. We're still here, yeah. still rocking and rolling. That's great that you're still rocking and rolling. <laughs> and what do you strive to create for everyone who comes to Cooking with a Twist? Not just a, a cook, great cooking experience, but it's great fellowship. Mm -hmm. I always use these hashtags whenever I am um, posting anything about Cooking with a Twist. You know, it's good food. Mm -hmm that you of course prepare yourself great uh great friends because when people come in even if they're sitting at a table with strangers mm -hmm. they're gonna leave as friends exactly. they're exchanging numbers they're you know they're cooking together and there's mm -hmm. something about cooking it's so it kind of bonds you it together. does it brings you together it kind of bonds people and just the fellowship mm -hmm. uh, you know it's something it's something fun to do mm -hmm. uh of course byob for our adult guests mm -hmm. Uh, adult classes and our kids classes are just the greatest. Aww. They are the greatest. From mm -hmm. our five-year-olds all the way up to our 16-year-olds, mm -hmm. our summer camp, which wears me out because <laughs> uh, it's an entire week. But we have so much fun. I want um, people to leave here saying, man, mm -hmm. that was, that
That was great. Exactly. I really had a good time. Mm -hmm. I am wanting to know what we're going to expect in the next few moments from okay. you <laughs> since we're going to have a little sneak peek. So what are you going to show us? I'm just going to show you some blackened catfish uh, and we're going to make a little sauce to go over it. Um, so good. And then we're going to do a romaine lettuce with uh, buttermilk chive dressing. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to get cooking? I am ready if you're ready. Okay, okay. let's do this. All right. Normally when you come to Cooking with a Twist, mm -hmm. we already have everything prepped for you. So, you know, we've already diced your onions, your cucumber, whatever your recipe requires. Mm -hmm. We pre-prepare it, it because yeah. this is a totally hands-on and interactive cooking class. Mm -hmm. So everything's going to be raw. Normally it's about four people to a station mm -hmm. and they're cooking together. And I tell them like as a team, everything, okay. everybody cooks. So today what we're going to do is, this is just a catfish. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to season this. Mm -hmm. uh, first I'm going to use some granulated garlic. Okay. And I'm gonna season. I love garlic. Now, do you make the blackened seasoning yourself? We can. Like, okay. we'll show you how to do like a jerk seasoning. Mm -hmm. But this is not pre made. This okay. is one that's store bought. Okay. And I always like to tell, I even tell my other mm -hmm. chef instructors that are doing classes, right. to give people tips. Yeah. Because a lot of people are looking for easy, mm -hmm. they don't want it to be difficult. Right, right. You know, especially the mom who wants to cook something really good for. Her family. Exactly. Uh, when she gets off of work or something like that. Mm -hmm. So um, that's what I, I like to tell people. You can make the blackened seasoning, but you can also just buy it from the, from store, the store. Okay? Yeah. But while that's cooking, mm -hmm. a lot of people like to do like simple sauces. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a very simple sauce. First, I want to, this is just diced onion. I'm going to put my diced onion in. I'm going to stir that up a little bit. And then I'm going to add some minced garlic. Mmm, the garlic oh, being yeah. sauteed. It's like smell of vision So good, here. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna put some butter in. Of course, butter makes everything better, especially Absolutely. if it's a sauce. I agree with you a thousand percent. Now, how long do you cook the fish on each side? Uh, I'm gonna, we're gonna cook this about maybe two and a half to three minutes on each side. Okay. See, I wanna get that good sear mm. on, your, on the fish. Mm -hmm. So you want to cook these onions until they're like a little transparent. What I'm going to let you do is mm -hmm. this, while that's cooking, this is just romaine lettuce right here, okay? Okay. I want you to go ahead and add all of these ingredients. So you all have right. your red, red onion, onion. Parmesan your Parmesan cheese. cheese. Look at you. <laughs> okay. Do you cook? I do. Cucumber. Cucumbers. And then you have bacon bits. Ooh, I love bacon. Yes. And you can use turkey bacon as well. Okay. So you want to toss that. So this is one of the dressings that we make here at Cooking with a Twist. This is a buttermilk ranch dressing. So you want to go ahead and pour that in. The whole stir thing? Stir it up. Mm -hmm. You can. Stir that in together. Okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my cream of mushroom soup. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to add it to my skillet with my onion. Yum. And I'm going to stir that in really good. This is the making of something fantastic. Right oh, here. yes. I'm going to add a cup of heavy cream and then my Parmesan cheese. Okay. Throw that in, let that simmer a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to add some of this blackened mm -hmm. seasoning. I'm going to add a little chicken broth until it gets to the consistency that I want. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to let that simmer a little bit. I'm going to show you how we're going to plate this. So we're going to. So we're just gonna kind of put that sauce over it. Make sure we get all those ingredients in there. Put some croutons on there. Ooh, yes. And move this back. Okay. We'll put some croutons on there. Okay. Dig in. Ooh, okay, what should I try first? Whatever you like. All right, I'm gonna try the fish. And there's plenty of sauce. If you're a sauce person, mm. then definitely. I love sauce. Yes. Okay, it looks delicious. Mm-hmm. Let me know how you like it. I could smell the blackened seasoning on it. Mm -hmm. Put your little parsley on there, make it look cute. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Chef Didi, this is so good. Thank you. Mm. You got like the crispness. Mm -hmm. There's like a thin crisp layer on the catfish. And then I like that. you have the creamy sauce. Oh yeah. With the mushroom. This is keto friendly, you just can't have the croutons. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's like just 
Leave them off. You could put them on for cheat day. Or make you some keto friendly. Oh, really? Croutons. Oh, yeah. Mm. You know, they have everything. Low carb bread. Let's make it true. Mm -hmm. This is delicious. And I can't believe the dressing is homemade. And you know what? Now that I make, mm. we make homemade ranch, homemade Caesar, I can't buy it from the store mm. anymore because it just doesn't taste the same to me. Right. So, yeah. Mmm. Chef Didi, this is amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much for teaching us how to make this. You're welcome. Really appreciate it. Just thinking about that yummy meal makes me so hungry. I will definitely be back to take the vegan cooking class and I'm looking forward to it. Chef Didi has created an amazing space for her clients to bond with one another, all while working together and enjoying delicious food. That did not just happen though. She had faith and followed through. I challenge you to do the same. If you want to learn how to make tasty meals all while enjoying the company of your friends, family, and coworkers, I invite you to book your space at Cooking with a Twist. Remember, this is a perfect place for you to celebrate or host events of all kinds. You made it to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon below so you know every time I post a new video. Also, spread the love and share this video with a friend. If you have any suggestions for where I should visit next in the Houston area, be sure to leave a comment below. Until next time, peace and blessings. Mwah.